And I'm going to be able to see Did you click on this link? Oh. No, it is working. Hmm. Can you put it on the live chat if you are uh, here in the on the previous one, previous live chat? Yeah, but you have to live stream offline. Live stream offline. I can see the live stream here. On the iPad, I can see it. It's working. I can see here, people. Okay. Yeah, uh, please let me know if uh, you can hear me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. How come? Um, yeah. Okay, so it's the other one. Wait, uh, I'll send you that again. Uh, yes, I think I shared it on Telegram. Then is that the other one? I have to confirm if that is the case. I'll delete that message. That is the other one, huh? Okay, okay, I'll delete it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, am I audible? Okay. So let's start up. Um, mm -hmm. So hello everyone. I hope you can hear me properly. If not, please let us know in the chat section of the video um, and let me just confirm if everything is okay yes i can uh, see the chat section as well so any questions please uh, put them in the chat box over there we have jihan uh, and an isil uh, member regulating and moderating the uh, chat box so um let us start Okay, so welcome to this uh, second webinar in the series of uh, webinars called the onboarding um, webinar sessions, where we talk uh, to the new summer admissions uh, for Belgium universities, uh, particularly K. Leuven to be uh, uh, precise. And we talk about um, topics which include arrival, pre-arrival, post-arrival situations and, you know, things to do, what to expect when you come here and just to aid the process of your transition from your home to the city. So let's uh, begin this second uh, webinar 
and this will uh, this uh, this entire presentation will be about um, post arrival and arrival uh, situations and i will walk you through um, the entire uh, procedure of how to uh, from the brussels airport for example how can you reach your uh, destinations so if there is any questions again please mention them in the live stream uh, like in the chat box so that i can also see your questions and reply to them um, then and there okay so let's begin Mm, I hope you can all see my slides. Um, yes, let me just confirm that if, uh, uh, the, this is changing. Yes, it will. Okay. So, um, we are expecting that you will be arriving from uh, Brussels Airport. Uh, Brussels Airport is in a place which is in the middle of Leuven and Brussels. So it's called Zavintam. So Brussels Airport Zavintam will be your first, I believe, um, exit point uh, for Belgium. And after you finish all your immigration uh, tasks, which I hope, uh, you know, um, don't create any issues for you. So after that, you can, if you want to come to Leuven, for example, you can take uh, a train, either a train, a bus or a taxi, according to your situation, according to your luggage. And if you are going to take a train, uh, the uh, the Belgian railway system here, it's called the SNCB uh, to be short and the Belgian railways. I will again walk you through how to uh, book tickets, for example. So you can get a train. You can also get a bus. Now, depending on your campus, for example, if you are coming to Leuven or to Ghent. So the bus company over here, which works, is called Dillen. Right. And uh, the other one, which is in Brussels, for example, if you have a uh, Brussels campus, so that will be STIB. So that, 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 this is like the difference um, in uh, different cities have different uh, uh, transportation services. And if you prefer in taking a taxi, for example, from the airport directly to Leuven. Uh, it might be a little bit more expensive, but if, if you have people with whom you can share the taxi price, for example, and if you have a lot of luggage, then of course you can uh, you're free to take a taxi. Also, you can find uh, the phone numbers in the uh, in the onboarding guide. I would also like to introduce you, if you do not know yet, to our own onboarding guide, which is here. Um, I will close this. Uh, so the onboarding guide we have created the ISIL members have created out of their experiences and uh, you know living in uh, Belgium or Leuven uh, for quite some time. So all this this entire guide is for students in particular and for K Leuven. Um, we haven't included other universities, but it follows a similar trend if you see for other cities also. So this guide is your first point of contact, I can say, uh, to the life here and how, what, what all to experience. It has uh, these. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Um, I just got to know that you guys can't see the tab. Um, I will delete it. And I will add one more tab. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I hope it is now possible. Yeah. Now it. I think it should be possible to see the guide. Sorry for the technical technical problems. Not an IT person here. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's continue. So this is the guide, and this is for the um, for students um, for this particular year. And we have included, for example, um, multiple multiple links, um, which will which if you click will guide you inside the guide also, and external. They will also di redirect you to the external uh, web pages. For example, if we say that you wish to see the pre-arrival situation, so you can just click here on pre-arrival and then you will go to that particular section. So I believe and I hope that you guys in the, uh, are in the process of uh, getting your visas by now. 
Um, if not, then of course, we also have a Telegram group, which I will be talking about in, at the end uh, of how you can join. And if you are already in the group, well and good, you already know how we uh, circulate all the information on that group. So if there's any problems, any issues regarding the visa, you can also um, uh, type in your uh, text over here in the uh, live chat or you can text in into the Telegram group. So, for example, we were we are here in pre arrival section right now. If we scroll down, you will also see housing section, uh, where you can get all these uh, redirected links of a databases. For example, where you can search uh, like a, an accommodation for yourself before coming or even after coming. So that depends on your particular situation. Uh, if we scroll down further and reach the arrival section yes so this is something which we are going to talk about today but yeah that was just an introduction to the guide and i will walk you through in uh, the next uh, couple of minutes so let's go back uh aha uh -huh, to the presentation Yes, so we were talking about uh, how we can come from uh, the Brussels airport to our respective cities, either in Leuven, uh, in Ghent, or in Brussels. So you can take either a train, a bus, or a taxi. Or if you are also coming from neighboring countries, for example, you're coming, you have your flight to Frankfurt airport, and you want to come uh, to Leuven, or you have an, um, um, like a flight to Amsterdam, for example, or even in, through Paris airport, how you can arrive into Leuven in, in Belgium. So to uh, follow that, you can again uh, uh, take a train. Uh, for that, you have to go to the SNCV International uh, website. And uh, this presentation also, I will uh, again uh, uh, pre, uh, you know, tell you, about this so uh, this website also has uh, links and i will at the end uh, share this uh, entire presentation as a pdf file in the telegram group as well so if you are not in the telegram group please get added uh, into that group as well because isl members regulate it uh, with information um, you know new information or any uh, updated uh, um, things that you should uh, know of so that is also a, a contact point for you so uh, you can either uh, search the SNCV International website or you, there are different, you know, uh, websites where you can see what time suits you for the train, what price suits you. So that's called Omeo or a train line. You can easily search them on Google and you will find the, the exact website. For uh, other uh, ways of coming, you can also check in the guide itself. So I have uh, mentioned this uh, about Google Maps that you have to use it with caution. Uh, I say it because many a times what happens is if you are following a train, uh, if you, uh, you know, following a train path through Google Maps, sometimes the companies uh, don't update it at the same time. So Google Maps doesn't have the updated information. It can happen. So, for example, you are standing at, plat at a platform waiting for a train. And then when the train arrives, you see that it's not the one that you want to get into. So that sometimes it becomes an issue. So uh, to sort that out, we recommend that you only use uh, the respective uh, apps of, of these companies. I'll show you just now. So let's go to the Chrome tab. Okay. So, for example, SNCB. This is the Belgian train.be, the website for uh, getting a train from the Brussels airport to Leuven. So, uh, just a, a quick search. I want to go to from Brussels airport to Leuven. Mm -mm. Did I? Yes. Uh, the date, let's see. Uh, I'm arriving, for example, on 6th of September. Around, yeah, um, right now it's 3 uh, 10 uh, uh, in Leuven. So let's plan my journey. I wish to arrive right now to Leuven. Uh, 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 plan my journey. Yes, it's, it's loading. Mm -hmm. Now you'll see all the options that you can have. Yes, so these are all the train options that you will see. And you can choose whichever time, for example, if you're coming at, you know, uh, 
321 uh, or the later times, you can choose your train. And this is the platform information, the platform 3. And it's a 12-minute train, for example. 12 minute, 13 minute, depends on uh, the particular train. What you have to see at the uh, train station is the platform. Uh, be very careful about which platform you have to, uh, you know, uh, stand on and the time, for example. Uh, and then you can also consult the Google Maps. But again, uh, you should, uh, because it's the first time that you're actually traveling uh, to Leuven. So it's, it's recommended that you use the uh, official websites. So let's buy a train ticket. Now we go to this website. So it tells you that from Brussels airport to Lou when you are traveling, you based on your condition, you can choose second or first class. It's a single journey and it departs on 6th of September. So let's choose our tickets. Now this will provide you a lot of options depending on the uh, different kinds of ticket options that they have. So the standard ticket is the one which is for all age groups. If you are under 26, generally the tickets are less expensive, but because this is a Brussels airport, there, there are some taxes involved. So that's why this ticket is not really uh, cheaper than the standard one. So over here, we'll just book a standard ticket, uh, the quantity. If you are traveling with other, uh, more people, you can just in increase the quantity for one, two or three. Let's add and then see how we can pay. So it says complete order. You can do the same thing on your mobile phone as well. So we en enter our uh, information. For example, my name is Sakshi. I have entered my uh, name and the email and the traveler's name. How do you want to receive the tickets? Uh, do it by a PDF because you are supposed to show this ticket to the TC when uh, in, the, in the train when they come uh, to check your um, uh, tickets. And how do you want to pay? So now over here, there's a uh, there's a catch. So if you have a band contact card, which I can assume if you are coming from India, you might not have it yet. Band contact or um, like PNB, Paribas, uh, BNP, Paribas, Belfuse, KBC. These are all Belgian. Uh, you know, these are all banks over here not particularly Belgian, but yeah, uh, you can only get uh, their cards and their accounts when you create an account. We'll also talk about this in the next slides. But yeah, if you do not have a visa or a MasterCard also, then how can you get the tickets? That is a separate question. If you have a visa or MasterCard, then it's easier over here. So you can just click on visa. I agree. Go to payment. It will ask you for uh, your card number, etc., etc. You know the process. But if you do not have a card, then what you can do, we are going to go back to the PPT now. You see a ticket vending machine. At the airport, you can also see a ticket vending machine where you can get the ticket from uh, cash itself. So I believe you would be uh, carrying uh, cash with you. And if not, then you should maybe carry a little bit of cash. Uh, it's always beneficial to have it uh, handy. And you can get your tickets from counters which look like this. It's very easy. You, uh, they have different languages. English also is a language in, at the, in, in this counter. So it, it, it uh, will not be that difficult. You get a ticket. You sit in your train, go to the platform and then come to Leuven. Right? But then uh, what about when you come to Leuven station, then how are you going to go uh, towards your for example, your accommodation, your house, or whichever place you want to visit. Uh, then we go back again to the Chrome tab. And then, okay, I talked about the Delane um, um, uh, bus service. So I have a search here. I'll go again. So this is the website. Uh, all of these websites you can uh, see in the guide. All these um, web links are there. So for example, I plan a route. I am coming from Leuven Station. Now, this is the bus service. I'm coming from Leuven Station to, for example, I want to go to my uh, temporary or a permanent accommodation, which is on street. So, this uh, asks you for a street name, for example. So, my street name where I used to live was Kapuse Nivur. I enter that name, Kapusenevur, and you can also enter the house number. 
for the search. You click on whatever it uh, gives you as a search result. And if you want to depart, for example, right now, you'll see options bus, tram, metro, train. But Dilan in uh, Leuven only has bus service. So you will only see the bus uh, the options. So for example, you see a bus symbol here, a time here, and the duration of the journey and the uh, the line basically that's why it's called the line uh, so uh, 352 is the line uh, from for example stop a to stop b and uh, don't yeah it's okay don't get confused with what is written over here you just have to see which uh, number of the line you um, have to get on to reach and then how to see, like how will the, you know, the, the platforms uh, appear and everything. So this is a picture of the uh, train station. And outside the train station, this is the uh, bus stop. As you can see, there are numbers written and these are all the platforms. So if you are, uh, you, you can exit from here, then you come towards this side and you see all the platform numbers. Then again, you go to the, the line, your route planner, you click on the uh, uh, bus journey according to your uh, time, and then you see. So it says the name of the bus, which will be written on the bus display, the line number as well. And then you see, uh, you see that it says stop loop in station Peron 4, Peron platform 4. So you go to the platform. Four. So three is here. Platform four will be here, over here somewhere. Okay, I, I hope this is a little bit uh, uh, clear. Or if there are any questions, please feel free to uh, write them in the uh, chat box. Now, then again, if you wish to buy a ticket, the same problem will arise because even here they have the ticket, uh, you know, the payment methods as Payconic, Bank Contact, Credit Card or a Bank Contact Card, which is which will only be available to you afterwards you create a Belgian account. But you can, of course, pay by cash also. And for cash uh, payment tickets, you again have to search for a ticket uh, vending machine, which looks like which will look like this over here. It will look something uh, like this. And you can easily get your ticket through, a, 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 you know, by cash. And it will, uh, if it's a paper ticket, then it will be, it will appear like this. And you can scan this ticket when you are boarding the bus and your life will be easier, I hope. Uh, and let me just quickly show you what the uh, ticket options are. So if I just cancel this, ah, so these are all the uh, these are all, uh, all the options that you have for tickets. Now, if you are just looking at a single journey, you can buy a ticket for two euro fifty cents. Um, but a ten day a ten journey ticket is generally recommended for you because if you are going to roam around in Leuven, for example, for the first week, uh, when you or because you or maybe even for longer if you don't have a bike yet. So you can get this 10 journey ticket, which costs 17 euros and it's a little cheaper compared to, you know, buying tickets multiple times. So, uh, yeah, depending on the situation, you can get a ticket accordingly. And all of these options will also be available in the uh, ticket vending machines. OK. And let me go back to the presentation now. So the same situation uh, if you are going uh, to Ghent or to Leuven from the airport, it will be the same over here till till now because uh, Ghent also has uh, the land as the bus service. They also have trams. So you will do the same process, but maybe uh, you, you will get like the tram option, uh, not the bus option, but it's the same process. The ticket prices and everything is same. For uh, people who are going to Brussels, so there they have the STIB um, service and uh, the colors are also different. So you can see like uh, some buses will be in red or blue colors, but the, the land buses are always in yellow. Uh, so it's um, it's a color difference also. You can easily uh, spot and you can again get the tickets uh, for Brussels. And I will quickly show you the website also. Uh, yes, the website is here. It's called stib-mivb. All these uh, links will be uh, there in the guide. If not, you can, of course, ask us directly or again, consult uh, this PPT. 
and uh, the, the, the video of course. So you see here uh, again there are all these lines, line numbers and based on uh, yeah you can just enter your destination from to and plan your journey. Uh, let's come back to our presentation and yes so this was the arrival section so you have now used a train um, a bus or a tram for example and you have reached your uh, first place that you are going to stay in Leuven. Um, yes so uh, a little bit of um, um, points that you should uh, take care of for, from this year, uh, we uh, the, the the immigration or uh, the, on the airport people will not ask you for a passenger locator form, so it's uh, um, it's very good, uh, a little less step to do. Um, you should always keep your vaccination certificates uh, handy. For example, if, even if you don't have printouts of it, it's not required to have printouts. Uh, you can just uh, have them on your uh, cell phone, and you can just show. Uh, the um, you know if somebody asks but generally it won't be asked uh, because these things have been uh, um, eliminated so it's really good sim card so there were some questions uh, about getting a sim card from um, India uh, whether we should get it or not if I share my experience um, I wanted to get uh, I wanted to stay in touch with my family throughout the journey uh, from uh, you know from Delhi airport for example to the the Leuven uh, place where I was staying uh, it was a temporary accommodation so I got a international roaming plan uh, I believe I had a geo plan I think that was for 1100 rupees uh, at that time and it was it just lasted uh, for uh, uh, the duration for the plan was for one week but of course you can get it for more uh, um, duration if you want but yeah only if you really wish to uh, be in contact and you know get a hold of uh, uh, you, you know, if you don't want to get lost for example so otherwise what you can also do uh, airports have uh, wi-fi every airport has a wi-fi all the time so uh, you will still stay in touch with your family and you can still search but yeah once you leave the airport that will be a problem if you don't have a sim card you won't have an internet and then how will you you know search all of these things so you can get a sim card from uh, the airport also let me quickly show you where you can get yes so this is the brussels airport website they have something uh, called sim local like there's a little place, uh, it looks like this. And over there, you can actually get a SIM card based on your uh, ID. So your ID, the supreme ID that you have right now is your passport. So please take care of your passport if you are um, in the airport or when you once you step outside the airport, keep it tight and, you know, near uh, um, you at all times. Don't lose uh, hold of the passport at all because that is your supreme uh, identity. Without that, you might get in problem. So uh, based on your passport, you can get a SIM card from uh, the SIM local shop in Brussels airport. You Can you see the different options like the orange, like a mobile, Proximus? So you can discuss this with the, uh, the executives who are there and choose whichever, you know, the cheapest option that you get. Uh, cheapest and the most effective, uh, you can uh, get the uh, SIM card over there. And it will come with the internet, so it will be good for you to have it uh, handy. Uh, let me go back. Yes, so we talked about the SIM card. And if you just want, you know, for one week, some uh, mobile data, so you can get the 1100 rupees, or maybe, I don't know if the, the price is the same uh, still. Uh, so that's the international roaming plan. Okay, uh, there were some questions about uh, what luggage to bring. So, and that is a very diverse uh, question, to be very honest. Now, based on your uh, condition, I mean, we also have uh, these things uh, written in the guide that what all you can bring uh, from India. So, uh, yeah, I'll walk you through uh, the guide as well. But you can also get student discounts in uh, baggage. Like, I think Air India uh, has the highest um, baggage allowance two pieces 25 kgs i have always used air india to be very honest just because of that reason uh, but not everyone can use it i believe and uh, but you can 
always avail student discounts in baggage from uh, de uh, yeah depending on your uh, flight so emirates indigo etihad and air india they have uh, discount fares i believe when when you will book your tickets or even if you are at the airport uh, during your baggage uh, you know check in they might ask you for a confirmation that you are a student so uh your uh, the admission letter from ke luven for example will come in handy uh, during this time and yeah there were a lot of questions about what money to carry um so now this is a tricky question because it depends on your situation uh if uh, for example a person a has booked their uh, accommodation by accommodation i mean the permanent accommodation uh, which is a studio or Uh, or an apartment so if they have booked it already they are also expected to um uh, you know provide the deposit money which is generally thrice or twice the amount of your rental uh, value so if your rental is for example 500 euros so you are supposed to pay the deposit also which will be 1500 euros so now over here like this is the uh, tricky part are you supposed to carry 1500 euros with you that's a lot of amount of money to carry so what you can do for this person a what he or she can do is uh, that they can load some amount of money in a forex card or a neo card we have talked about this in the guide as well under money matters under money matters you will see in the guide that we have talked about uh, which uh, card for example to you can get um to prevent uh, yourself from carrying a lot of cash and if you have the forex or the neo card you can just load your that amount uh whichever you 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 find suitable uh to make sure that it survives you for one whole month because why am i saying this you are also applying for uh, the residence card once you arrive here this again i'll talk in the next slide so the rp process itself takes one month whole one month and after that you uh, i mean you you will get a document meanwhile that you can go and present to open your own bank account over here but then again that process may be you know it 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 may um um you may experience some delays because there's a lot of uh, student traffic which is coming right now in september so uh, yeah let's just assume that it will take one month or even more to get a belgian account so uh, and you cannot really carry all that cash with you all the time so it's better if you get a forex card or uh, you know any or uh, yeah the neo card because in india only these two uh, things you can actually search uh and get so if there are any other options that you know of please let us know because uh, it's again it's a good thing to know and please let the other people also know uh, in the telegram group or even in the chat if you uh, know about any other means of getting a um, like a forex card in india so yeah uh, money to carry it depends on your situation if you have uh, a permanent accommodation or even if you do not have a permanent accommodation yet you are still supposed to deposit like give a rental uh, while signing the rental contract you are supposed to give a deposit money which is generally thrice the amount of your um uh, the monthly rent so take care of that and uh, get uh, your money matters sorted before uh, or during your arrival also if we yeah continuing so um these were the topics for the arrival section uh if you have any questions please uh text us in the uh, live chat section if you want otherwise i can uh, yeah uh, move forward um for the post arrival there are a lot of things to do when you once you uh, come to louvain or in brussels or in the ghent campus you first need to register at the university campus and you will get this information uh, from the university itself they will uh, maybe yeah they must have already sent you a uh, sent you an email where um, like what steps uh, you have to do for the registration where you have to arrive what all things you need to bring 
So the take home uh, message from uh, this step will be uh, to get the ID card. You will you will get a student ID card. You will get a student number. You will also uh, get a student email address. So you really need to activate that student email address also to, to make sure that, you know, everything is in order. So all of these steps, you will get uh, some information from the university also. But if you have any questions, please, please text it in the Telegram uh, group. Yeah, so that we can um, help you with that. The next step will be registering at the STAD. So this uh, process is done so that you can get a residence permit in uh, in the city you get a uh, you you know you get a card you are a temporary residence of the uh, uh, in leuven and this step also involves a lot of things i'll quickly show you the k leuven website yes so uh, I hope you can see the website here. It's the Kailuvin Admissions Office. They have explained it very, very nicely, I'll say. Even we can't really uh, tell you in you know simpler words. Uh, so it's the registration procedure for non-EEA students at this uh, city office. And uh, if you can see, this information is only applicable for students residing in the Leuven area. So uh, if you are a student who... Uh, has Ghent campus or uh, Brussels campus, then they have to look into STAD, Brussels, STAD, Ghent websites for the same. For example, a quick search, I'll do it um, right here, STAD, Brussels, I type. The first website that comes, this is your go-to website. Um, and yeah, uh, this Google Translate is the uh, god over here. <laughs> if you don't have it, please like yeah keep it uh, in, in the chrome always to translate um you can also search for example stad gent <coughs> so you have this page called stad gent and you can search for expats gent everything like you can uh, just go through this uh, these websites according to your uh, situation according to your conditions now, coming back to the registration at the City Hall in Leuven. We are only uh, discussing about Leuven. If you have any questions for Ghent and Brussels, please type them in the Telegram group. So, upon your arrival in Belgium, it says that you will first have to complete your registration at K Leuven. That's what we said, that we, you first need to register at the university. Only then you will be able to do the next steps. Then, uh, the electronic registration procedure, you can go through this website and follow all these steps it's very easy uh, it's not uh, you know it's not very difficult to register in the stad you can also call the stad so i'm searching stad leuven now stad leuven you can also contact them if uh, for example if i go till you know the last section you can also contact the city of leuven they are actually very helpful people i'll say and whatever question you might have, you can also ask them. But I will recommend it uh, you, uh, first you, uh, you know, go through uh, that question with us so that we can make you understand it uh, in a better and simpler way. Uh, if you have some particular questions that only the, you know, only the city of Leuven can uh, um, handle uh, it, then you can just simply call this number. And then again, we also assume that you have a Belgian uh, number by now. Uh, now going back. So the step one, electronic registration. So you can just do it uh, online when wherever you are. If you if you go through the process, if there's any problems, again, you will be contacted by email from the university directly. But again, if you if there's any other uh, questions, please contact us also. So then it's the step two is the first visit to the city office. You have to visit, you have to, um, whichever documents you uploaded for in the form, you have to bring those documents, hard copies to the city office. And then they will actually uh, give you an Annex 15 document. An Annex 15 is the most important document that you will have after your passport. So please uh, keep it very, very, very close, you know, uh, in close quarters and yeah, don't lose it at all. Uh, as soon as you get the Annex 15, please scan it so that you have it 
uh, have your document in your phone at all times. If somebody randomly on the street asks you, you know, uh, where is your ID, you have something to show them. Please scan it right away whenever you get it. And uh, yeah, so you will, yeah, there are certain processes. It's very easy. It's nothing hard, you know, uh, rocket science that you might not be able to understand. It's very, very easy. And then the second visit will be when you have the Annex 15, then you will receive some uh, codes. It's the PIN and the PCK, U, C, K, yeah, some, some number, if uh, uh, I don't know the abbreviation correctly. But yeah, those numbers will be required when you are going to receive your RP. So this entire process, we can imagine, will take one or two months. Yeah, they also say that the total registration can take up to eight weeks. So you can imagine that at least two months, you just set aside that, yeah, it will take uh, that amount of time. If it uh, comes early, then well and good. But that Annex 15 document is very important. How? If we go back to the presentation here. Yes. So get the Annex 15 document from uh, the registration, uh, city registration. Based on that, I'm skipping this SIM card uh, point because we have already talked about it uh, in the previous slides. Based on the Annex 15 document, you are going to open a bank account. Now, uh, your bank account, uh, yeah, now this is your own, uh, you know, um, thought process, which bank account you want to uh, open into. People have KBC, I have ING. Some people, uh, some of my friends have the BNP Paribas. Everyone is happy with it. There's no issues. Um, and yeah, if you want to search more, which is a bank account to open, then again, I'll um, uh, recommend you to go to the guide because we have a proper, um, like a website. I'll quickly show you also. Because there have been some questions where people are very confused on which bank account to open. So if you go to the guide, you go into Money Matters, I believe on the, let me quickly see where we entered this thing. Uh, I think we had one, let me search. This is the after, yeah, this should be after an arrival. Yes. Yeah, open a bank account. You can wherever you wish. So if you click on this link, you open it in another tab. And we have a proper guide to banking in Belgium. This is the Expatica website. They generally uh, post very nice articles on um, expats. So you can uh, make a, you know, uh, informed decision on which bank account uh, or which bank to go to, to open your uh, bank account. So let's go back to the presentation. You have the Annex 15 document. You uh, went to the bank to open a bank account in, for example, let's uh, assume you went to the ING bank. They will ask you for a passport. They will ask you, they might ask you for other documents because you are a student. So you also have a blocked account situation. Um, uh, I wasn't a student, I was a PhD student, I had a scholarship, so they also asked me for a scholarship letter, for example, if you have a scholarship letter, then you will also, you are also supposed to show that. And uh, I was also asked to present a PAN card. Uh, so yeah, if you have a PAN card, well and good, you can bring it to uh, Belgium, you can show it to them, uh, they'll just scan it and your bank account will be open within the same day. They're very quick in that sense. So, uh, yes, it requires Annex 15. Or if you, by that time, if you will have the residence permit, then yeah, you just require these two things and your bank account will be in good shape. Uh, take care that it's, um, yeah, you have the band contact. Uh, it's called, I'll mention here, it's called band contact cards. So you will uh, get these band contact cards and you can just, it's the basically the UPI over here, Payconic is also, Payconic app is there. You will see all this information in the guide as well. So there's uh, no doubts, no confusions. Even if you have any questions, please uh, mention in the uh, live chat. So yeah, it's very easy. Banking is super easy, I believe, over here. Uh, the next point. So the health insurance. You uh, are also supposed to have a health insurance over here. And in the guide, we again, we have 
the information on what health insurance plan or you know the basically the websites where you can get the health insurance so there are multiple major insurance providers in the country that you can quickly uh, search and go to the most commonly used is the cm i also have a cm and many of my friends over here have cm we literally had no issues um and it's um yeah it's just i i believe because uh, it's a quarterly payment of for example 21 euros i generally pay 21 euros for quarterly um for the uh, insurance and it's it's pretty very easy it's very straightforward and you are generally also um, um supposed and recommended to have a general practitioner but that is something which can be done later on also uh, there's no rush in uh, finding a doctor uh, a general practitioner practitioner okay so uh, to commute after arrival to commute in the city you can uh, also rent or buy a cycle cycle uh, you know the situation over here it's very nice people generally prefer cycles over for example a scooty a, a bike or a car also a car so and the river is very small so it will be very easy to walk around also if you do not want to spend uh, money on you know buying a cycle that is also possible uh you can search the links for cycle renting in the guide again now next yeah so this point is some yes yeah, not many people know about this but because you your vaccinations are uh, all um, you know uh, from india and generally uh, to reflect um your vaccines in your rp because everything whichever information you have whatever you are will be registered on your residence permit so to get the vaccination detail on your residence permit you are supposed also i mean it's recommended if you register your international covid vaccines in belgium and it can also only be done after receiving your rp so if i go to this website well let me quickly show you the website and it is only after you get your student number and the residence permit and it's super easy because i also uh, registered my uh, vaccines i had them um, uh, from india the booster i got here so if you don't have a booster yet maybe you can get it from here also i'm not quite sure but yeah we can see later you can um, ask us this question uh, later on um you can register your international covid vaccine through this web page it's super easy you need your the social security id number it's the same as um your uh, the residence permit number basically and you can just enter your vaccination details you can upload your um pdf uh the vaccination pdf and it will be super easy within like a week or two they generally update uh it on your residence card now going back so we saw that post arrival you need to register yourself to a lot of places and if there is any issues during that time we will again we will be here in belgium itself so you can again use the telegram app uh, and our group to ask your questions and there are plenty of other people in the telegram group also who uh, you know share their experiences uh, uh, in the group and it's it's very nice to see uh so you can just yeah um message us text us whatever you like to have ah uh, the next question how is hunting yeah there are a lot of people um who are actually very uh tensed and worried about getting an accommodation i'm not uh, yet you know sure about what is the situation you can actually share your experiences in the live chat also if you wish but yeah for house hunting uh, we i have a couple of uh, web pages which i uh, saw and yeah uh, let me first go through this so imo web and zimo are the two very um uh, i'll say very very um thoroughly and you know extensively used websites so you can easily search over here wherever you you want to live for example in brussels ghent leuven there is a website uh, on uh, uk leuven cotwise and this uh, these web links you will again see in the guide so no worries there are different databases for cots in brussels cot is basically a room a student room 
uh you can also uh, uh, you know stay in a temporary uh, accommodation in a hostel you can search it over here all of these web links will be again provided to you as a pdf this entire presentation will be provided as a pdf in the uh, telegram group you can search over there and uh, so there is a, a wherever if you are roaming around in the city once you arrive if you see this particular um you know add so tihur is basically to rent it means to rent in dutch and if you see a place which has this board you can either um check out their website if they have if, if they are an agency you can check out their website they also have like a contact number uh, on the address on this um uh, uh the ad so you can just uh, go through it and all of these links um let me quickly show you so that you guys have an idea how they look uh huh yeah so this is the mycot uh link you can search it for brussels campus for example if you do not know about it yet uh, so it's a yeah it's a good website uh, it's a legitimate website i'll say from the uh, kluven uh, web links and you can also search for a hostel for example and there are a lot of hostels in brussels and ghent also leuven you can easily search uh for uh, people who are going in the ghent campus you can go over uh, the stad ghent website this link will be available to you so no you know no worries and there is something called odc student housing yeah multiple uh, databases we can provide you to make a informed and a dedicated you know uh, search you can do uh, so that you find your uh, permanent place and of course the cot wise uh this is the klumen database it's generally a little bit um um i'll say expensive also but yeah this is the most reliable uh that you can uh, come across most reliable search let's go back to the presentation so these uh, web pages will be uh, available to you if we go next so yeah we come across the checklist now uh in the guide also we have this uh, checklist for you so things to do i hope you have already reached this uh um place and you just need to um put in the things that you want to bring and for example you can you you are supposed to bring a lot of winter clothing it's it's very uh, cold uh, here in winters uh and any other you know uh cooking items which are specific yeah special specialty cooking vessels which are specific to your needs here yeah, the hard copies of your admission letter degree certificate transcripts etc yeah of course your travel documents passport if somebody wants to bring uh, med medications that are very specific to their needs then you also need to have a prescription so this is very important get a prescription and then bring the medicines because you might during immigration or during not immigration during the scanning for example you might be asked to present a prescription the vitamin d supplements uh, don't really need a subscription uh, but yeah you can um, yeah we can bring that if you wish to have a mobile phone a spare one uh, it's always recommended uh, and all these other things according uh, to your need so uh, we also need uh, I, I, yeah we also recommend you that you see the email uh, the orientation days email from pangaya i believe you have received uh, this email uh, by now and if not uh, please let us know and yeah if you also have not received any email from us regarding these webinars and uh, for example the guide the telegram group please please let us know and in the next slide i'll uh, show uh, uh, the qr codes that you can scan and then you know you can add into these telegram groups so that we can uh, or maybe you can enter your uh, email address in the contact form so that we can contact you even later on so we also have a meet and greet event uh, in october when you guys will come here we will meet you and uh, in person so i i hope it will be uh, nice to see you all uh, over here you can share uh, your experiences of uh, what all you know uh, was good what all went down and things like that so it will be good we generally also give uh, <laughs> uh, yeah we we i see people give samosas uh, in in our uh, events and it's generally free so it's very nice and there's some samosa that are actually very nice uh, so you can also get a samosa for example when you come here uh, in the event 
So yes, it will be fun to see you uh, guys live in person and not talk to a laptop, for example. Yeah. So uh, moving forward, uh, for some networking and socializing uh, uh, websites, you can just scan these QR codes and sign up for the buddy program, for example. You can also sign up for some welcome activities. It's always nice to see, you know, your peer group. Your um, you will of course meet new people. You can also uh, um, meet in uh, all the ISIL uh, Telegram group members. So it will. It's all always fun. You can scan these QR codes to sign up and uh, get a, you know become a part. Moving forward, so uh, we have uh, arrived at the end of this webinar, and um, I'll again uh, stress on the importance of the onboarding guide. We have every information possible that you can. Yeah, you know that is which is a very important and crucial for you to uh, come here. So please, please go through that guide, read it thoroughly. And um, yeah, if there is any specific questions, then you can directly either contact me uh, through Telegram or in the group, you can, uh, you know, uh, mention your uh, uh, questions or you can also use uh, the uh, Gmail account uh, of uh, Lumen Isil, oopsies, that you can... Um, um, you know, um, send your uh, questions to. We are also very active on Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram, of course. We generally post about events that happen uh, throughout the year uh, on Facebook. You can also see our previous uh, events. And yes, you can also become a part of them when you come here. And uh, yeah, this is our link tree. Um, QR code. You can uh, scan it and then uh, see all of the details all of the representation that ISIL uh, has, uh, the outreach, etc., uh, through that link tree. And please keep us, uh, you know, keep on sending your queries uh, either through email, Telegram, etc. Yeah, um, that will be all. If there are any questions, please uh, text, uh, you know, please uh, write them on the sorry uh, YouTube uh, live chat. If not, then that will be all. I'll just wait for a while. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, uh, uh, should we note with Amelia? Passes are buying from Louisville will be easier. Uh, see, buying here, uh, I don't think it will be. Uh, cheaper but yes of course you can buy from here as well um, and yeah notebooks and uh, etc from India they will be heavier if you you know calculate like that uh, your luggage will also become heavy so why to carry all that stuff when you can actually get it from here as well it might be if you keep on you know keep the exchange rate in mind and then calculate the prices it will be expensive uh, compared to India but otherwise yeah, if you get it from Leuven, it will be always better. Otherwise, you have to carry all that stuff from India to here. Doesn't make sense, right? Um, yeah. Anything else is there? You can uh, send us. Um, okay. Okay, so I will be closing this session and I hope to uh, meet you all uh, in the next, uh, um, yeah, I hope we don't have another webinar and we can see each other in person. Uh, that will be better. And thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching this webinar. I, you know, wish you all the best. Uh, safe travels and see you all super soon.